What's up, YouTube? Last week, I built this liquid-cooled Raspberry Pi 3, and this week, we're going to overclock it and see what happens. And let's just take a temp where it's at right now. So we're at 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. GPUs at 40 degrees Celsius, 104, so same. So the first overclock will be 1.35 gigahertz. Okay. The thing's still in there. Finger's a little oily. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this SD card. I'm going to go ahead and pat it down with this towel. Rub off some of the oil. Go ahead and put it back into this. Um, it's a 32 gig sand disk. Go ahead and put it into the slot. And now we're gonna go over to the computer. So here I'm on my computer and you can see I have my boot drive. This is that 32 gigabyte SD card that, we're, that we were in before. We're gonna go ahead and open the config.txt. It's easier to open it with WordPad, Notepad. It won't be formatted. And uh, you'll notice here, overclock the ARM 700 megahertz is default. ARM frequency is at 800 right now. So that's what's currently set up here. We're gonna go ahead and now that we're in the config for the, our image, we're gonna go ahead and do 3.5 to start. So we're gonna go ahead and copy over all this, delete this, and we're done. And then all we're gonna do now is just save it, file save, yes. And we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the SD card and put it back into the Pi. All right, we're in. There's a little bit of sound distortion from the emulation, but the gameplay is is looking pretty good. Well, yeah, you want to it? Oh. Does it seem laggy to you? I can't tell. No, I don't know. Look at look at that jump. Look, you can see the like uh, the, shadow? the shadow in the yeah in the lava. What? Come here. Why is he green? He's a reptile. Oh, he is. Yep. I thought it was scorpion. Is Mortal Kombat we're gonna go ahead and exit out of Mortal Kombat and really quickly we're gonna go ahead and exit out of emulation station and check out the temps you hit quit shut quit emulation station really quick all right people let's check these out all right we've only gained where our uh, CPU is at 41 degrees it only went up one degree Celsius it's at 105 degrees Fahrenheit GPU is at 42 and 107 Fahrenheit all right, and as you can see, it went back down. 104, 40, 41 degrees, 105 on the GP. All right, so we're at 13.5. Let's go 1.4. We're up in the GPU as well to 5.20. File, save. So the Pi would not boot as is. So let's see whether it's the, the CPU or the SD RAM. So let's go ahead and set these to the 5000s or the 500s and leave, the, leave everything else as is. I'm just gonna get away with 25 though. Let's try this 1.35, 5.25. All right. So this is as fast as this pie is gonna let us go. 1.35. But I got the SD RAM at 525. All right, we're at 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 39 degrees Celsius on the CPU. We're at 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit on the GPU. I didn't get
place perfectly. All right, now we want to quit really quick and check our temps. All right, we just quit emulation station. Wow, this thing's running cool. It's even cooler than it was before. All right, we're up to 42 degrees, 107. 42 degrees, 107 degrees Fahrenheit on both CPU and GPU. Alright, Dion. Let's do it. Oh, whoops. Oh, my. <laughs> I didn't even make it to the finish line. 1.35, 520, 525 megahertz on the SD RAM. Alright, we're gonna do a quick quit and see what our clock's at, see what our temps are at. Quit. Quit. Quit emulation station. Yes. All right. We're only at 100 degrees Fahrenheit on the CPU and 102 degrees Fahrenheit on the GPU. Totally low, 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 low. It doesn't want to freeze, guys. So there you go. Let's play another Nintendo 64 game. So Super Smash Brothers. For those interested, we're on um, CEA 16, which is 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz, 16:9 ratio at 148 megahertz progressive, and then we're using the MuPin 64 Plus Glide N64. Let's launch, baby! So this should look pretty good.
Alright! Cool, so let's go check the temps really quick. 102 and 102. I hope you enjoyed this video. We just had our pie over here, liquid cooled, hooked up to the monitor. I had a keyboard hooked up. You could see it in the pie itself. I just the keyboard. And then I was using the wireless Wii controller as my primary controller for this build. Hooked up a little speaker over here so we can hear. There's the pie. Emulation station. Um, there is no tricks here. All these are power cables. And then the one HDMI cable here that goes through the back to the to the, to the monitor. Okay, there you are. I used two different images in this video. 1375 didn't work. Maybe 1360 would work, but it's such a small gain, it's not really a big deal. Knowing that 1375 was the limit, um, somewhere between 1375 and 1350. 1350 is a good clock speed. As you saw, Nintendo 64 is running great. The uh, home screen is running great. It's stable, it's not crashing. The SD RAM is at 525 megahertz, so we got that overclocked as well, and the GPU. So it's a, it's a nice little setup, and as you can see here, it's very pretty as well. And uh, the, I, I use different micro SD cards. Something to know about micro SD cards is a lot of them are uh, waterproof. So this whole liquid cool swapping them in and out, I thought was going to be a lot more uh, tedious, but it just it plugs and plays. It goes into my computer, it goes into the liquid, whether it's in liquid, out of liquid, it was no problem. Also, please keep in mind, not all pies are created equal. Some chipsets are better than others. Some you can clock up to 1.4, 1.45, no problem. Others like mine here, you might only get 1.3, maybe even 1.25. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a little thumbs up if you could. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one.